Hi, I'm Kevin, and we're here to talk about boot heaters today for your ski boots. There's a couple different components that make up a boot heating system, the basics of which are the batteries, the heating element, and then a covering or a footbed that uh, actually your foot sits on top of, and then the brackets that attach the battery packs to your boots. Start off talking about the differences between the batteries, as that's the major component and the, the biggest upgrade that you can get into the different heating systems. You've got your basic battery pack, which is gonna last you about an hour and a half to 12 hours depending on the setting. Each battery has three different settings um, for different temperatures and different warmth. The higher the temperature, the quicker the battery is gonna drain. Then you move to the upgraded version, which a lot of the, them call like super max or something like that. These will last a little longer, three to 18 hours, again, depending on the temperature differences. And then, the Gucci of the uh, battery packs is a lithium ion battery pack. Uh, this actually comes with a remote as well, so you can adjust the temperature wirelessly. And then it's very lightweight because it is lithium ion, and these will last up to 18 hours as well. Next, you have the, the heating element, which actually supplies the heat, and this sits right underneath the toes of the footbed. So this gives the heat just to your toe areas, the, the typical place that your feet do get cold, keeps them warm. So there's a couple different options for how to cover that. Um, if you have custom insoles, you're gonna go with a, like a, what they call a cambrel cover, which is like a synthetic material that helps wick moisture away. And this goes over the top of your custom insole, um, so you can use those custom insoles that provide good arch support in the boot, uh, and that covers the heating element so you're not gonna burn your foot. Uh, up from that, you've got basically a standard um, insole. This is similar to what comes stock into most boots. It's flexible, it's flat, and it's actually got the heating element already pre-wired into it here. An upgrade from that is a semi-custom insole. This has some arch support to it, so it's going to provide some comfort, some additional performance, not as much performance as a custom insole. And this too is pre-wired with the heating element in it. The last part to the system is the brackets to attach them. There's a couple different options here. Um, nowadays, the most common attachment form is like what they call a strap bracket. And this actually mounts the battery pack on the side of your boot, so it's not going to get hit by the lift. You're less likely to crimp your wires. And there's a couple different options depending on which manufacturer you choose, either Thermic or Hotronic. The simplest form is just the bracket that mounts on the back of the boot. Um, and this just hangs off the back of your boot. Again, it can be prone to getting pinched by um, the chairlift, crimping wire, stuff like that, but it's an inexpensive way to get the boot, uh, batteries on the back of your boot. Next, we're gonna go into how to actually install the systems into your boots. Start with the basics. We're actually gonna do a custom insole. Um, so we're actually show you how to fab one onto a custom insole. If you already have a pre-molded insole that has the wiring system on it, you'll catch up after uh, we install the camera cover and all that and actually get into the cutting of the liner. So to start with, you want to take your, your heating element and mark approximately where it should be on the, the toe of the uh, footbed. should have a little bit of a, a gap around the edge. This is actually going to sit up and underneath your toes. That's the part that gets cold when you're out there skiing. You want to mark where the wire system is and make about a one inch wide slit in the sole of the footbed so you can feed the end of the wire up and through the, the insole. You want the wire to run underneath the bottom of the insole so that way you're not feeling it on your foot. It'd be very uncomfortable in your skiing. After you have the wire pulled through all the way and the, foot, and the heating element secure on the footbed itself, I like to take a small piece of duct tape and throw it over the bottom of the heating element just to patch up that hole and that way the wire is not going to get bent or crimped up in the bottom of the boot. You don't want these wires to get bent or crimped. There's a, they're actually made up of a couple of fine wires. If any of those get broken, your uh, heating element is not going to work anymore. So once you have that secure, you want to take your cambrel cover, peel off the sticky part. You want to start at the toes. You only got one shot at this pretty much. So you want to be secure, and you want to slowly work your way back towards the heel, making sure you smooth it out as you go along. So now that you have your camera cover nice and smooth, you want to trim off all the excess. 
You can either use a razor blade or a utility knife to help you out with this. A pair of scissors works as well. You just want to go around and trim off all the excess. So now we have our camera cover all trimmed up and it's the same size as the footbed. We're actually going to take our razor blade and cut a small slit in the back of the heel of the liner where the, the back where your Achilles meets the heel and the bottom of the boot. You want to cut the hole here and not in the back or not underneath the foot so this way again you're not going to feel any wires underneath your feet or running up the back of your leg that would be very uncomfortable to ski in all day. Again, you want to cut a slit that's about an inch to an inch and a half wide, and you want to make sure you get through all the layers of the liner. You should be able to stick your hole through the, your finger through the hole of the boot. That's a good gauge on whether or not you have it the right size. After you've got your hole, you're going to take the insole and we're going to start to put it back inside the boot. You want to start by fishing the bad end of the wire through the hole and pull that out. And again, you want to make Take extra care to make sure that the wire is not going to get cramped, that it's flat and flush. Slowly feed the insole down until the toes meet the front and pull out all the excess wire until you've got a firm, taut wire and slowly seat the heel of the footbed while pulling on the wire. Once you've got that seated, I like to take some duct tape and put a small piece on the heel of the boot here. Help close up that hole, that way you don't get cold air in there. Keeps the wire again from getting crimped. Another piece. On top of that, right up the back. And finally, one more on top of that. It just keeps the wire nice and secure, attached to the spine of the, boot, the, the liner. It's not gonna get crimped or anything. Now that we've got that all back together, we're actually going to take our liner and put it back into the shell of the boot. Again, taking extra care to make sure we don't pinch anything. This boot's already got its strap back buckle uh, bracket attached to it on the side, so we know our battery's going to get mounted over here. If we kind of fab that up, we see that we have a little extra wire. We don't want this to get caught or crimped on everything. So I just like to take a small piece of duct tape. You don't want to pinch the wire, but you just want to kind of curl it up, any excess. Wrap it around there a couple times. That way it's not going to get caught on the lift or anything. And then you've got a nice secure wire. Again, you can either mount your uh, bracket for your battery pack on the side strap, which I strongly recommend. That way it's not going to get hit by the trailer. You're not going to kick it or anything. You're, not, you're less likely to lose batteries. Or if you want, you can mount it right on the spine of the boot. That's how you install boot heaters in your boots. Boot heaters are going to keep your feet nice and toasty so you have a very enjoyable day of skiing all day long.